India, a country bursting with colour and beauty. I don't have words for that. With year-round warm weather and a low cost of living, could it be the perfect place to retire? I would love it, a different way of life, where money might last longer and a wonderful climate. I want to have a comfortable old age. Let's go somewhere and live like kings. Thank you, Majesty. Inspired by the film, eight well-known pensioners are going on a real-life adventure in the city of Jaipur. Welcome to Jaipur. I'm in. My bum is in. And they've set up a unique retirement home in the heart of the old city. Is this the way to the market, though? I don't know. We can give it a go. Hello. After trying to fend for themselves... It's banging around. Oh, my They've hired staff and begun to explore the local area. There wouldn't be enough years of retirement to take it all in. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. But will they navigate the challenges India poses? Blimey, this is exhausting. And find somewhere new to call home on the other side of the world. You can't avoid loving this place. Magical. <laughs> Very good morning. Good morning. Everybody. Oh, you look, all of you look so good this morning. Close your eyes. Let go of all your desires and see what wonders it does to your body. It's the second week of living together in the Haveli and the group have begun to embrace the local way of life. Wayne, Roy, Sylvester and Patty are up early for their yoga lesson with instructor Atul. Breathing through the nose. You, you breathe in through the mouth, blow out your cheeks and straighten your mouth, breathe out of the nose. Atul's yoga is specially designed for senior citizens and it's more than just exercise, focusing on meditation and mental well-being. I'm definitely going to start yoga classes and meditation. Those are two very important things in my life now. You take your hands up just brought us into like a sanctuary of peace and happiness. You'd feel calmness. But not everyone has been converted to the benefits of yoga. I really like a fan. I really like a fan. I just love that blowy feeling. And when you fart, it sort of blows it away really quickly. <laughs> so nobody, nobody sort of almost notices. If you're a slightly windy person like I am. <laughs> I love the strangeness of India, the fact that it's a completely different culture. The unexpected things that happen here, the imminence of shitting myself, you know. And Miriam isn't the only one suffering. I've still got squits. Uh, you know, we all have squits. I think everybody's suffering. But the only thing is I'm just trying, I need to stay around the room for maybe a little longer. It's part and parcel of India, my dear. Okay, I've got to go again. The thing I like about India, everyone's busy. Everyone's going somewhere to get something. They're like ants, every, they're all everywhere. I don't know if they have so much strength. I mean, they're older than we are. <laughs> In Jaipur, even the most essential day-to-day -day activities are done away from the family home. Ooh. For even something as everyday as a shave, most local men go to a barber's. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. No, oh, 
It's not set your bowels, but <laughs> Oh dear. Wayne and Bobby have been recommended one by their hosts, where a shave and a haircut costs under a pound. Wait for me. Come, son. The, rise, the risers are a bit high, so you have to be careful. OK. So, How do you do? A shave. A bit, a bit, be nice to me. Have you ever cut anyone? Have you? <laughs> no? You never cut anyone. Keep that up, son. How many a day does he do? It's going to be a uh, 60 or 70. 60 or 70. So nobody shaves at home no. with electric? No. No? No. Everybody comes here? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Was it gentle? You didn't yeah. feel anything? No, he's very gentle. Oh, good. All right, then. It makes me ears look big now. I've had a good shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. It's harder for us, don't you think, to stay young looking when we're this age? Not for me. Not for you, Todd. I've got a baby <laughs> face, haven't you? Don't get old in your head. If you never had a mirror, you wouldn't get old. Cos you can't see yourself, can you? So, I took all the mirrors out of the house. No, I ain't really. I've got hair growing everywhere else but on my head as I get older. Down my nose, out of my ears. Yeah. Sarah. As I get older, I realise it's inevitable. It's going to happen, whether you like it or not. So why worry about it? Have you found since you've been here that the arthritis has been <coughs> helped by the heat? I think it helps me, yeah. Yeah, yeah when it's raining and cold, yeah. you put it more. Yeah, for my old bones that have been doing dancing all these years, yeah, I feel of... I, my muscles feel softer already, because just within a few days. Yeah. Namaste. Oh! Sorry. Miriam and Patty are venturing out too. They need to get some laundry done. <laughs> You're all ready. Most middle-class families don't do their own washing, so host Sushma is taking them to see the lady who does the laundry for all the locals. She has been uh, doing our ironing and washing for at least four generations. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Dobanji. Hello. Dobanji. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Her, name is, Namaste. her name is Durga. Durga. Ye Miriam hai aur ye Pat hai. Ha? Come. After you. Come. Okay. I'll show you the place where she does her washing. Okay. You need a hand? Yep. There we are. in. Yes. I'm in. That's her family. Dobanji's whole family are employed in her laundry business. Her relatives, uh, her husband's uh, three brothers, they live in the house. Each one of them has a place here and they have floors on top ah. where they live. Okay. And uh, uh, the older son. Oh, that's the older he, son. He's the older son. Beautiful wife. Uh, Beautiful. So that's the younger son and younger daughter-in-law. Why she got and her hair co yeah, face covered? Is it because because as a mark of respect? What's the respect? Is it towards her mother, her mother-in-law, or towards you, or towards us? Uh, it's towards all elderly people. I was born in Nigeria, in West Africa, and we we don't there. We you can't look an elderly person in the eyes when they're talking to you. People always tell me I should cover my face. No. I, don't, I don't think it's for that reason. No. <laughs> India has grown on me completely. I mean, I, I, because India is so much the, the the tradition of respecting the elders. So I feel totally at home here. I feel I feel like I'm in Africa, but with a different language. I'm beginning to understand the ways of life here. Bye-bye. But within the family, I think there is great love, and that's a really nice thing to see. I don't have a family. You know, my parents are dead. I'm, I have just my partner. We don't have children. So I'm rather a, a solitary person, and I'm not sure how a solitary person would fare in this country.
Living together may be cost-effective, but some aren't adjusting to it that well. Fitting into the group has been difficult. So many of them are larger than life. I just, I just find that a bit difficult because, I mean, I'm insecure in many ways. Um, but I think sometimes people hide their insecurity by sort of shouting louder than the next person. We're going to have to look after Jan. Jan because she's fragile. Yes, I know. She's fragile. And she's out of her own environment. I think she finds it harder than we do, probably. Yeah. Do you think that? So? I do think yeah. that. Yeah. Back home in Kent, Jan has lived on her own for the last 12 years. I didn't think at my age that I would be living on my own with a cat. I am not lonely. I am happy. My happiness could be added to. <laughs> Hello again, Chanu. Hi. Hey, I'm really excited about this. Yes. Thank you, I'm very well. Jan has asked Janu, the Haveli driver, to take her to see someone who could help. I tell you something, there's no way I would ever drive in Jaipur. Yes, it's I crazy. won't even drive in London anymore. In India, many Hindus use psychic gurus to see what their future has in store, and Janu has recommended one for Jan to visit. I do believe in astrology. Now, let's face it, people only go to an astrologer if they've got a problem, either love, money, work. You don't go to an astrologer when you're happy. Actually, I am happy. Before you go, I want to make sure that you're brave enough. Because you go there to hear the truth. Oh, my goodness. You go, you go there yeah, to hear okay. the truth. So you make sure you are happy to go there. Go Jenna, Jenna, can we go back? No, <laughs> no. Good luck. Thank you. It's, it's in there. A.J. Srivasto does readings for those seeking enlightenment at the back of his jewellery shop. Namaste. I have an appointment with the guru. Is it all right to go in? Thank you. Namaste. 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 Thank you. <laughs> We have only five minutes because I have yoga class. Oh, right. Give me a hand for a second. Which? The guru doesn't charge anything for his services. He believes he has a gift which should be available to anyone who needs his help. So go ahead, what do you want to know? I have lived on my own a very long time. Mm -hmm. But um, relationship has always been a problem with you because you have a massive problem with expression and communication. So like relationship and fall in love and then things fall apart. So like with a man, it's always been like this. At least six men in your life, same thing is happening. You're amazing. You're absolutely right. How many right. children you got? One, a son. How old he is? 34. But basically, the thing that you need to do, focus, concentration, and self-loving. There's a creativity and things like inside you, but still you haven't found the peace of mind. I haven't, and you're quite right about relationships. But having been on my own for 12 years, mm -hmm. I've got used to it. Uh, it was very difficult originally. Um, I would love to be, I would love to have a companion, but my track record would put men off. If God or whoever says no, I am okay on my own, but I would be much happier. You're saying you, you're okay by your own, I disagree with you. You're very lonely. And my suggestion for you, you still need to be very careful with depression. Whatever you are, howsoever you are, expression is very important. Second thing, as you're getting older, you need to be very careful with your short-term memory. With my short-term short -term memory. Oh. 
My mother... Symptom of dementia? Yes, she did. Ah, because both my grandmothers died of cancer. Bowel cancer? Yes, they did. <laughs> Thank you so Welcome. much. Welcome. Take good care. Thank you. Hopefully see you soon. <laughs> He's good. He's good. That man definitely has an energy. I could feel it coming into my hand. He shocked me when he said six relationships. I mean, he doesn't know me from a bar of soap. My life has been totally messed up with men. <laughs> He's amazing. Yes? Okay. I tell you what, even if I'd wanted to hide anything from him, I couldn't. I mean, how could he know? I told you before you come. Back at the Haveli, some of the group are trying to learn some basic Hindi. How would you say to somebody when you meet someone saying, what is your name? Jan has decided to join the group for the lesson. Yam Kaya Hai. OK, so maybe you can have a little conversation between the two of you? Oh, God. Yes, so. Oh. Um, okay. Ye kia hai. Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aap ka naam. What is sleep in... Uh... Sleep hai? Yes, yeah, sleep. Sona. Sona. Mira Nam Sona Hey. I'm falling asleep, sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired. You are in the sun. I hope it's not the Hindi lesson that's no, no, no. working as a lullaby. It's, for it's you, concentrating huh? when I'm tired. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, with our not very good accents, will they understand Absolutely. us? They will. Yeah. They Even will. if we... Because the context in which you're talking, they yeah. know what you are actually wanting them to say. I've got to keep this active. You know, it's absolutely true. If you don't use it, you lose it. And I will be making notes because I don't remember. I had a very good memory when I was young, or not quite photographic, but very, very good. How would you say, would you like to make a date? <laughs> OK. In India, you would not say that. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be your sort of chaperone. You're going to be my chaperone? I want to get you a rich Indian. Oh, that would be... She I would have a... Yes, yes. you. Mother. That would be perfect for her. I a rich you Indian. Know you you want I know this sounds awful, but, I mean, do, do people chat each other up, or is it unheard of? It's sort of like, come on, like, flirt. 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 No, um, no, not really. No. Actually, in Jaipur, we still have a lot of um, what we call the respect in the eyes, you know? Yes. So if you see somebody you like, it would all be in the face, Jan, would it? Sort of like mm. looking at somebody like that. So you look at me and I go... It's beautiful, isn't it? I like that. And I go... <laughs> My life is quite fulfilling. It, there's room in it for, for somebody, but unfortunately, and I'm not saying anything that most women don't think, most men want a much younger woman. And look at me and the age I am now. Breathe in. Very gentle dropping. Dropping the head back. It's 8 a.m. and the group's morning routine has already started. And that will reduce pressure on the heart by 33%. Yoga's been practiced for 5,000 years in India and it's part of the rhythm of life. Again, there's a no step. One, two. If you do it daily, you will be cured of your short sightedness and long sightedness. You won't need glasses. OK, let's start it again, sir. Sir, you also need to take your... But neck Rosemary's back. finding both it thumbs. tough. You are both the thumbs. Would you excuse me, cos I'm going to have to go. I've got to go and do something. So, excuse me, I need this as much as everybody, but I need to go and move on, so I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. That has taught me the most enormous lesson. I'm really unfair. Everything was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is embarrassing.
embarrassing because it shouldn't have done because they were so gentle. And say, Hari Om! Hari Om! Tatsat! Tatsat! Hari! Hari! Seriously, I'm actually quite shocked how bad I am because I'm 10 years younger than all of these here. And, um, I mean, I think I've, you know, I'm reason I am fit, but I'm not. I mean, because I don't stretch and I don't do any exercise really. I think this is just so. In fact, I do no, no exercise at all. She said that, uh, when she goes to. I'll take a pill for her. Because my mother had a stroke, she died from, from that. Uh, that's what I take it for in order to avoid, try to avoid a stroke. If you read in my obituary <laughs> that I've died of a stroke, you'll say, oh, poor sod, it didn't work. <laughs> I don't think it's morbid to, to think about uh, the autumn of life or, or, or even the winter. I mean, here we are. I'm lucky to have survived this, this long. I'm amazed the neighbours have let me. I'm old and I didn't expect to be. I didn't expect to have to climb stairs one at a time. Are you coming to the hospital, Bobby? Mm. I've got to be there at one. India has some of the best and cheapest medical care in the world. Some of the group have existing health concerns, so they've booked into a local hospital for a full medical checkup. So I'm not sure at the hospital whether we're going to, um, you know, have to strip down or have a blood test or any of that kind of stuff. Um, well, not blood tests, I think pressure, uh, high pressure, low pressure, oh. Miriam was recently told that she needed an operation. I've developed arthritis. It means that I don't walk very well and I'm going to have a knee replacement operation. I'm not ready to slow down. If I have to walk more slowly, then I will. But I want to walk just as far. And there are little scooters that you can go on. They're ever such fun. You can knock down all kinds of people like that. That's it. I've got the little stool. India's become a mecca for health tourism, with around a quarter of a million people flying here each year to take advantage of the cheap private medical treatment. I would very much be interested in finding out about what it would cost to have an operation in India and who would do it and how good they are, because I just want the best. You know, this is my life. I want to see, check me out, that's the most important thing to me. Yeah. Um, my blood pressure and um, how long I'm going to live. <laughs> We're looking for, I will not labour and delivery, I think I'm past that one. Um, in terms of health check, there we go, straight ahead. Straight ahead, health check. India does have a public health system, but access to it is so poor, going private is the only option for the middle classes. I feel so sweaty, it's embarrassing. I know, I know. It is. I, I hate I'm... being sweaty when people... If, if you... they have to touch me, I don't know whether they're going to touch me. They may take one they look may. at me and say, ugh. I hope he doesn't have to touch me. Full stop. Oh, not, not... I was hoping for an internal I, uh... examination. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your mouth out, Miriam. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> One in height. There you go. I'm the most comprehensive health check, covering everything from blood tests to bone scans, costs just £130. In the UK, the same test done privately would cost over £1,600. You stay there. <laughs> My mother had strokes, and that's what I'm trying to avoid, of course. 118 by 80, so it's absolutely normal. The pills are working. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> could I ask how long mm -hmm. it takes to get a knee operation? It's five to seven days, that's it. Five to seven days? Yeah. Because I have to tell you, in England, mm -hmm. it could be up to four months. No. And that would cost... Uh, the uh, knee replacement? Uh, around 3,000 pounds for a single and 5,000 for both the knees. 
So you get a discount if you get both knees done. <laughs> Back at home, a knee replacement done privately would cost around £11,000. I'm impressed by this hospital. I would not be worried if I got sick. And that is a very important area for people of my age. You worry about health care. Well, I wouldn't worry being here. At our age, this is the most important thing, is your body. Because things start breaking down and falling to pieces. So you've got a good hospital, it's relaxing, isn't it? Is this what you're doing now? Yeah. Yeah, I've had it done before. Uh, I had a thing down my throat as well, the liquid. Bobby's very familiar with the inside of a hospital. I wore my body out working, I suppose. The people think I just threw darts. I used to dig tunnels. I used to lay granite floors. Just so I've done it. Wore my body out. You look so serious. You're taking the blood out of me. I'm not taking it out of you. <laughs> I had metal knees, metal whip. Well, I broke my back in the World Championship. I jumped up and I come down wrong and snapped my back. After just five hours, the test results start to arrive. My general health good? Well, it's very good. Yeah. Yes. Heart? More or less seems OK. OK. For my age. Yeah. For your age, yes. yes. Was everything all right, Bobby? Yeah, everything was perfect. Brilliant. What about your heart? Perfect. My heart is very strong. Oh, fantastic. Slow. Still Am I slow. Athlete? Am I an athlete? You are. I said, yeah. No, you are an athlete. An athlete who needs to lose weight, that's all. Oh, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you could say the same to me. I've got to lose a cut of stone, cos I'm quite heavy. I don't look heavy, but I'm quite heavy. It's, it's the drink. It's the beer. You put the weight on with the beer. Well, if I'm playing darts, I drink fair, a fair amount, probably six, seven pints, eight pints a night. Miriam has received her results, and they're not quite what she was expecting. The doctor I saw was an orthopaedic surgeon, and he confirmed, looking at the x-rays of my knees, that I do need a knee replacement, probably on both knees, which I didn't know, but certainly on my right knee, which I did know. And he also said that I've got lots of little gallstones. So I'm facing a minimum of two operations in the next year, which is quite a heavy thing at my age. So I better start taking care of myself. As far as I'm concerned, health is the only thing that is important in life. If you've got your health, you can do anything. Rosemary, you're the doctor. Excuse, calling you. excuse me. Rosemary is the last to be seen. I'm so Hi. sorry. Oh, hello. An obesity specialist has arrived to give her the results. So when we talk about uh, the ideal weight which anybody should have, yes. so, so the basic thumb rule is that height in centimeters minus 100 and your BMI is coming out to be 49.4. Yes. Okay. So that comes into morbid obesity. My job is to tell uh, how important it is for you to lose weight, yes, number one. I know. Mm. Drugs are, are the secondary thing. The primary yes. thing is the lifestyle management. Yes. Nobody likes to be told they are morbidly obese. It's been spelled out to me, which has never been done before in such a way. I can tell you a few tricks. And, and it's, it is a shock, and it does... it. It doesn't, it does frighten me, obviously, because, you know, I, I need to do something about it, and obviously I don't want to, at least I find it very upsetting, and if I think about it too long, I will get very upset. So I think I've got to do what I normally do in my life, is be strong and do something about it.
because we've really been um, investigated from asshole to, uh, <laughs> to hair follicle, you know. I've had, I've had really nervous a couple of times. Did you, in yeah. case it turned out to be yeah. you were at death's door or something? Well, we are at that age. Well, yeah. We are at death. We're in death's back passage. Let me know. <laughs> 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 it's close. I mean, you can't help thinking about it. I think about it a lot. <laughs> Hello, pig. Hello. Hello. I'll have him for my dinner. <laughs> I, think he, I think he's frightened of me. <laughs> As part of her new health regime, Rosemary is already up and out for a walk. I've sort of thought about it during the evening, and I decided, well, I might as well start straight away. I have tried every single diet in the world, virtually, well, not quite, but I've done a lot of things. Once I fail, I give up, and I'm lazy. It's actually so straightforward, but it's just having the strength to get through it. As well as state-of-the-art medicine, Indians also rely heavily on ancient Ayurvedic practices. During her time in Jaipur, Rosemary has become a convert. I've got real issues. My, my back is, is, is an ongoing thing, and it is important that I find somewhere where I can maybe get my back sorted out when it does happen. So one is to sort the weight out as well, because that doesn't hurt my back. They're using a reservoir made from flour and water filled with hot herbal oil to ease Rosemary's back pain. It is weird, but it's, I mean, I have never seen this in Britain, and I tell you, if I was to come and retire here, this would certainly be part of my regime. Since she arrived in India, Jan has suffered from headaches and, on Rosemary's advice, has also booked some alternative therapy. I have low blood pressure, so they're not allowed. Oh, okay. Rosemary has moved on to a steam box treatment. The people are lovely, aren't they? They're so warm and affectionate, gentle. I think you should find a nice Indian educated man. Rosemary, That's... I've had enough of men. Have you? Mm. You are such a glamorous person. Oh, rubbish. But you are, Jan. I'm not. Jan, don't accept what I'm saying. You are. I've lived on my own for 12 years. I've got used to it. Yes, I am lonely at times. I would have loved to have had a big family. Yeah. I always most enjoyed at Christmas when I'd have up to 12 people. Mm. And now, Christmas, well, it's just another day. Well, I mustn't let you have that if that's the case. Don't you dare be on your own at Christmas. On a sunny weekend, when I can look out of my window and I see the families walking along by the beach and I see couples hand in hand and I think, oh, I haven't even got anybody I can go out for a drink with. If somebody came into my life who was right, that would be absolutely wonderful. Mm. But I don't think I could live 24-7 with anybody anymore. Yeah. Spend weekends together, go on holiday. See, I don't go on holiday, because I've no one to go on holiday with. But as someone once said to me, better uh, first-class loneliness than second-class company. I think companionship is very, very important. Are I'm... you on your own, Rosemary? Yes, I am. I've lived on my own for 20 years, oh. but I've been separate. I'm still married. I still oh. have a lovely husband, but we just, oh. we don't live together. Well, that's weird. And no, it's not weird at all. Um, circumstances <laughs> would have been very difficult for him to have been with me at that mm -hmm. moment when we lost everything. Oh. So I had to just get you on. lost everything? I had to get on, yeah. What was that? No, it was just, it was a recession. Oh. And we lost in, in the property, we had properties, we had all sorts of things, yes. Because mm -hmm. he needs somebody to help him and things and, so for me, um, it's easier anyway for us to be the way we be. Do you see your husband? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, right, so you don't need anyone? Well, 
I'm very. The thing is, Jan, I, I work. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I work all the. I work all You're the time. A I work at weekends. I work every weekend. You can imagine. Actually doing something. It stops one thinking about oneself, really. It has been lonely along the way. There are times when I've had something, a bad day, and you'd love to just talk to someone about it, and there's no one to talk to. And that is difficult. Tonight, the group are hoping to make some new local friends on a night out. I think all of us are going to the um, Palladio Club, which I think is a club for um, expats. We've been here about a week, and we're all excited, and we like what you've seen. Oh, I'm excited, and I like what I've seen. But I need to get the truth, really. It's going to be very, very interesting. I'd like to take a notepad with me, but it might look a bit... I can't remember things anymore. What about this? Too much? Well, well it might... Well, it depends how warm I'm going to be. Well, no, but I mean, does it look too much with all this white? Or shall I put my dark... Well, it breaks the weight up, actually. Or shall I wear my black trousers with the black waistcoat? <laughs> Bar Palladio is a popular meeting spot for Western expats. Many of the clientele have lived in Jaipur for years. Wow, look at this place. Hi, I'm Ophelia. Ophelia, and you're from here? Or you're from? Originally from France. Oh, wonderful. That's why I have this terrible accent. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Hi, this is Roy. Hi, Roy. Bonsoir. <laughs> so what do you do here? Jewelry. I'm a jewellery designer. <laughs> yes. Have you met Patty Boulet? Hello. Are you heartless? No, no. no. Uh, one has to ask these days. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. See, this is the part I need to find yes. before I go home. Yes, exactly. Because I've got to bring... I am gay. Right. And I've got to bring my partner back. I've been talking to friends about the homosexuality in India, and they say, be careful. Homosexuality in India was made legal in 2009, but the High Court overturned the decision and made it illegal once again a few years later. I'm Wayne. Will. Wayne, I'm Wayne Will. and Will. Do you, do you know Wayne? No. Also, no, Wayne they is don't. a very, oh, stop very it. shut up. A oh. very, very famous ballet dancer. <laughs> what? Um, and and the will... smallest you've ever yes, met. But you know... I'm interested to see if and how a gay community works if a gay community is there, for first of all. She certainly did. You know, what can I do? I am gay. <laughs> you know, and I don't think it's unnoticeable because I have a little frill. I do drop my wrists occasionally. Like I can eat Do you it like day. it really hot? Yeah, yeah. So do I. I love Oh, are we talking about the food? Oh. Wayne has met events organizer Will, who has lived in India for four years and is openly gay amongst his friends. If I thought of moving here, with my husband, what kind of animosity would I expect if two men were living in one house? There's really very little homophobia. Um, so it's like a safe, it's a safe place, but it's just as like a taboo subject. So it's a what? A taboo subject. Oh, so taboo. you just don't really talk about it that often. You have to like learn in which situations you can be gay, in which situations where you're just kind of quiet about it, in which situations you feel comfortable. It still is collectively in it's a closet. It's still in a closet. Yeah. When something is really nice, we say lovely jubbly. Jubbly? Lovely jubbly. You say that. Lovely jubbly. That's it, okay. Yeah, I think it could be great. I mean, it'd be much nicer to retire here than someone like Eastbourne. <laughs> Jan has the chance to find out from fellow Brit Emma about what life is like for single women in Jaipur. I've been living out here on my own for the last five years. And that's yes. why I asked. Yes. Is 
Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yes, of course, yes, absolutely. I mean, I have my own apartment within the family house, so it's quite nice because I have my own space that's completely private. I would need that. But then I open the door and the family's there kind of thing. So, and that would suit me yes, because exactly. I've lived on my own for so long now. Yes. I love people, but I want my own space. space that would be wonderful. Yes. And if they take you into their heart, they completely take you. They do anything for you. In England, I live on my yeah. own. And frankly, if I died, it would be several days before anybody well, would know. Yeah. I mean, really, people would know here, and they'd really look out for you. Hearing about the support available for single women has opened Jan's eyes to new possibilities. I come from a very small family, and now there's only my son in Sydney, so maybe I'll just have to adopt and adapt to an Indian family if they'll take me in. It makes me feel I want to come. It's 7.30 a.m. at Jaipur Junction Railway Station. Although the group have travelled all over the city, today is their chance to test out long-distance travel. They're heading off to see the jewel in India's crown. I think we have to go over here. India has got thousands and thousands of years of culture. They were more advanced than we were, and that would be a very exciting thing to go and see. The group are making the 150-mile journey east to the state of Uttar Pradesh to see one of the wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal. I don't quite get this. Um, 15. Yeah, we want the 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Making the four-hour journey by train are Rosemary, Wayne, Miriam, Sylvester and Bobby. I'm bloody sure it's platform one. It's either one or two. One or the other. Come on, let's go to platform one. I'd love to go on trains and buses. I don't like air-conditioned, chauffeured limousines. That, that's not what I'm used to, and, and I don't want that. The station deals with 35,000 passengers a day and is the busiest in Rajasthan. I won't go on top of the train, though. No, I think they're dodgy. It's a bit dodgy. But I'd like to go on the train and see what it's like to see how the people travel. Excuse me, do you speak English? Sorry? Do you speak English? No. Okay. With trains passing through the station heading to 50 different destinations every hour, they need to make sure they get on the right one. Is this going to Agra? Agra. Is this going to Agra? Agra. No. No? No? Gali, Gali. Gali, not Agra. Not Agra. 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 Okay, thank you. The train. The train. It's it going to Agra. Agra. Yes. Then we are partner Guwahati Express. Ten percent. Will you show us? Come with us. Yes. Come with us. Come. Come and show us the way. That's brilliant. Where's Miriam? I don't want to lose Miriam. I'm just waiting for you. Everybody, I've got a guide. Is this our train? Oh no, no, no! This is not it. Not it. Okay. Our train is after this. Next one. Next one. one. Blimey, this is exhausting. Maybe we should have gone by car. <laughs> well, we're on our way. Hooray! Only an hour late. <laughs> Only an hour late. <laughs> Roy, Jan and Patty have chosen the five-hour road trip to the Taj. I want a car with a driver. I'm not going on buses. I have experienced that in Lagos, and I'm not about to do that in, in India. Not at my age. They're being driven by Haveli driver, Janu. <laughs> Their 300-mile round trip by car is costing around 100 pounds between them. What, son? while for the others, the total cost of five return tickets is £60. I've never been surrounded by so many admiring men for a very long I know. time. I'd have worn a tighter bra if I'd known. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. 
Yeah. Right, so pull the beer. Pull the beer. I might have a little kip in the uh, train. Are you going to have a kip? I don't think I can avoid it. <laughs> I'm so tired. Because I was up all night shitting, you know. Yes, this must be it. The train is packed, so the pensioners have had to book into different carriages. 64 to 1. That sounds like a bed. The gentlemen are in third class. This, this is the one. This is the one. Well, the ladies class. in yes, second so this class. This is the one. It's got the number here. Yeah. We have to go further down. No, we need B. We're further up. This is BE1. We're B1. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. B1. Here's B1. This one. B1. You can just about see it written up there. I mean, it's not very clear. We need 11 and 12. Which A1? A1. Yeah, this is the group will be on the train for four hours. What does that say? Yeah? Three, two, one, you're five. Excuse me, what number are you? One. one. OK, thank you. Safely on the train, they now need to get to grips with the seating arrangements. If he wants to lie down, then we have to go up, and then I have to go up. OK. Well, that's all right, so, you know... Uh, well, I'm small enough to draw to the top, I suppose. Is this... is this 11? That's 11. Ah, so I have to get up. You sit here. How do I get up there? You, you want to show me? Yeah. And this. It's very simple. Put that. Yeah. Yeah. Hold that. <laughs> I think maybe... No! <laughs> it's very testing and rather exhausting, actually. I feel a bit whacked. Good night. Good Sweet night. dreams. Sweet dreams. Ah, oh, this is the life. Hey. You've got to go ahead first. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put my head in. You've got to go ahead first. I don't worry about my foot. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Crawl along like you're a... I'm a yeah, commando. Yeah, the yeah, SAS, sir. Uh. Yes. I couldn't do it, see? I'll never do that. An hour into their journey, Rosemary and Miriam have worked out that in second class they can turn their bed into seats. Wouldn't it be good to have a good cup of tea? What I really would like is a flush toilet. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to get that for quite a while. Now, you've got your, have you got your uh, loo with you? Oh, I never travel without it. Yeah. I think it's one of the things you learn as you get older. <laughs> yeah, I've got... Take yeah. a loo roll. Always be prepared. Well, you've either got to be prepared or have a very tough sphincter. And I don't know that I'm oh. proud. Patty, Jan and Roy are two hours into their five-hour journey to the Taj Mahal. While its creator, Emperor Shah Jahan, said, it made the sun and the moon shed tears from their eyes. My wish list, of course, would be to see the Taj Mahal. The Taj was built by Emperor Shah Jahan to lay his favourite wife to rest. The magnificent tomb is a symbol of his love for her. I'm very sentimental and romantic, and it's just wonderful now to have this opportunity, because when you live on your own, I mean, I'm not a scaredy cat, I'll go and do things, but I certainly wouldn't go to India on my own. So this is a whole new culture, and at my age, I'm, I'm you know, grabbing each day. With an hour left until they reach Agra, Sylvester is searching for second class and the rest of his group. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're singing. 
Hello. Oh, they're singing in here. Rosemary and Wayne are busy making friends with their fellow travellers. The car is still 85 miles from the monument to love. I've had my heart broken by a girl at school. <laughs> right? I've no idea why I fell for her because I hardly even spoke to her. We used to go to a little sweet shop, but sometimes they had a lucky bag, and there was a ring in this one, you know. Oh! And uh, I was passing her in the corridor, and I slipped it into her hand, and she went... Oh, no! Oh, Roy! I didn't go back to school. <laughs> oh. Have you, have you ever had your heart broken? Me? No. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> this is the best thing! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah. 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 The local ladies are on a religious pilgrimage and are decorating their hands with henna. What does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah, we all have had it. It means our very close relation. relationship. Relationship. Yes, yes, I husband. see. With the husband. Very good. What's your name? Mike. 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 Separated, oh, you're separated. Yes, we um, oh, Excuse me, no, no, no. As you, no yeah. Rosemary yes. here, separate. I still have a memory. I still have memories, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Well, go on then, go on, yeah, go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you still have good memories. What they were saying was, if you put the man's name on your hand, it makes you closer. Do you take it into your heart? We we had a lot of very good times, and to always and we still have good times, but it's slightly different. But still, but still have him remember the good times which I've got. How long were you married for? Um, I was married um, for 26 years. We had our 25th anniversary. We did the whole of Paris in the weekend. You know, oh, it was wonderful. Unfortunately, uh, 12 months later, she'd passed. Oh. But at least you did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you wish you'd done more. Unable to hold on for the whole of the long journey, Miriam has had to brave the onboard facilities. There was a flush toilet, and it flushed, and it was a toilet. It wasn't like a toilet, but I know. Never in my <laughs> life did I see a toilet like that. That was, you know, that was quite a special toilet. <laughs> it was a toilet. So, <laughs> I was grateful. <laughs> Bang on schedule, the train pulls into Agra Fort Station. I think we should get off. Oh, really? There's a step here. You go. Well, let's go and find the others. The train journey was all right. It was all... 99% of it, I went to sleep. So, uh, yeah, I would use the trains, because you just got a bed. Thank you, it's been a lovely, 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 lo thank you so much. It was wonderful, wonderful. That train journey, I have to say, one of the best train journeys I've ever had in my whole life, ever. If I was to retire here, it would be a wonderful way to go, and what fun. I mean, what fun. Rosemary, why don't you come with me? Okay. Are you all right with them? I'll go with, uh, Sylvester. Sylvester. Okay. And the Führer. And the Führer. <laughs> <laughs> the station is two miles away from the Taj Mahal. Way! This thing dodge him. It's great fun. Five. Five, five on a five. bike. I think five. that's the world record so far. Yeah, five on a bike. Ah, brass band. It's amazing. Oh, look at the brass band. Ah, fabulous. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look, look, look. This look. is the East Gate. Look. Oh, it's. Taj Mahal, East Gate, South Gate, straight South on. Gate, straight on. It is very hot. Today in Agra, it's 38 degrees and much more humid than Jaipur. You okay? 
Do you think you'll make it, or are you? I don't know. I'll have to. This is hot. I'm not so good in the heat. Ooh. Here we go, steps. Do you want well, some help? help? No. Are you all right, Miriam? I'm all right as long as I hold on hold to on. the to the burning poles. <laughs> <laughs> They're high steps. Wow, that's only the gate. I know. <laughs> Every year, three million people visit the Taj Mahal, widely regarded as the world's greatest monument to love. I just have to keep going because otherwise I stop. I want to see it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? How beautiful. It's a monument of love. Look at it. <gasps> it looks like it, doesn't it? You it believe it, it, yeah. You believe it's a work of love. It's unbelievable. It's mind blowing. We're going to have a selfie. You come to a place like this, it does make you think about your own life. I had a most wonderful husband, um, two wonderful children, and I had this, this, this wonderful life, and I've lost a lot of that. I've lost, I lost a lot of the love, and I, and I really, I'm a person who would love to be loved, and be really loved, and felt, you know, special. And I think it's one thing we all want, we all want to be loved. Jose, is the sound on? Can you see me? Guess where I am? Look! Hmm. This is my anniversary tomorrow. Oh, is Wedding it? Anniversary, oh. And I thought, that's it, I'm taking a picture, I'm going to sell it to my husband. This yeah. is what I want. <laughs> For your birthday. That's all order all. My wife would have loved to have been here. But if you know what love is. You. You bet. Do you miss me? I love you. <laughs> it's such a beautiful place. I would love to have been here with someone I love. It's also been emotional for me because although he left me 20 years ago, the love of my life was cremated yesterday. And I went up there and I wished I believed in heaven and I don't anymore. So it has been emotional. Obviously, I would have liked to be with my partner, sharing this beautiful experience. To come here, wow. I don't have words for that. It speaks for itself. Next time, the group visit the holiest Hindu city. Anybody who goes to India and isn't interested in Indian religions is a muffin. Get down with Jaipur's party scene. This has been one of the most fabulous evenings I've had in a decade. <laughs> and have a right laugh. If I went over my park and sat doing that, if I'm in that case. <laughs> Well, apparently they can sell anything, but what about a ping pong ball? Ah, our sales assistants are put to the test next on BBC Two in Phone Shop Idol.